What's happening, Carolina fans? Welcome to Two Fans in the Stands, a podcast related to all things Carolina Panthers and North Carolina Tar Heels. I'm your co-host, Tony. And I'm your co-host, CJ. Let's go. What's good, Panther Nation? This is CJ with Two Fans in the Stands, coming at you with a quick preview of the Carolina Panthers versus the New Orleans Saints. Now, I know we missed the recap of the previous game versus the Bucks. so for those of you who may not know, Carolina's last hope of making the playoffs and winning the NFC South dwindled away when we lost to the Buccaneers 30-24. So, how does that pertain to this week's game versus the Saints? When you think about it, what does Carolina have to play for this week? And at first thought, you would say nothing. Season is over. We're not making the playoffs. It's just kind of a throwaway game. Well, I disagree a little bit. I would say there's still a lot to play for this week. As I've been saying in previous episodes, I'm on the higher Steve Wilkes bandwagon. And what I want them to do is go out, win this game for Steve Wilkes, get his record to 6-6 six and six for the season, and hopefully that will be enough to put him over the top as our next head coach. I think what he's done this season, I I, I think he's deserved it. And I really think he deserves another shot at a head coaching gig. But standing in the way of that are the New Orleans Saints. And this game is not going to be easy. As always, it's a divisional opponent. And Carolina has been absolutely putrid on the road this season. We have won one game this year on the road, and that was against the Seattle Seahawks. We are 1-6 and six on the road this season. So going down to New Orleans, playing in the Superdome, is not going to be easy. And also, how much of a carryover from last week will there be? There were a lot of, especially on defense, there were a lot of miscommunication, um, things that should have happened that didn't happen, especially late in the game, as we all know. So where are their minds going to be at? How will they prepare for this game? Will they be prepared for this game? Because, like I said, It's not going to be an easy one. I believe the key this week for Carolina is how well they do late in the game. If you look back at a lot of Carolina's losses this year, they have been in the lead late in the game, third quarter, going into the fourth quarter. And there's always a moment where there's a turnover or a play or some kind of shift in momentum. And it all goes downhill from there. And they give the game up late. So can Carolina snap back this week? Can they get up on the Saints and can they hold it, you know, and can they continue it for the whole game and not have another, you know, mental lapse or series of turnovers like we did in the game last week. So I think that'll be key for the Panthers this week as well. But the Carolina that we all know and love and have uh, been accustomed to late in the season, power football, Sam Darnold managing the game defense, making plays when they should. I think Carolina's got a shot at it. But if they don't do that, it's not going to be a pretty day for us down in in the Big Easy. And that's it, Panther Nation. Our last preview of the 2022-23 season. You can catch the game this Sunday, January 8th at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Fox. Catch us after the game for our last recap of the season. And as always, Panther Nation, hire Steve Wilkes and keep pounding.